All right. Welcome to uh, was an Anistrad Crimson Vile pre-release. So uh, Rick and I are gonna open deck build. I have a trash here. I need your water. Then. <laughs> Uh, hopeful initiate. Oh, I, I, that was one of my favorite series. Vampire. Vamp yeah. Vampire. So I heard this little story that there's a lot of vampires in this set. Somebody, somebody was telling it's me about that. It's just a rumor. Is it? Okay. Just a rumor. I was, I was, I wasn't sure. I don't even know what's good. I peeked. That looks pretty good. <laughs> I saw there's like a couple of like absolutely broken cards, right? Yes. Uh, I got a sundown pass. And a cool swim. I got a Henrika Damnati. So that, it's so weird because that looks like a um, Planeswalker. Yeah. Uh, the Porter. frame. Yeah. yeah. Well, cool. I got I got Boros land. Let's see if we can not do something with Boros. Okay. There's one combination I've not seen people play yet. Boros. Yeah. I mean, there's there is a red white. You know, in common. Alchemist Gambit. It's to take an extra turn with the leaf. Yeah. Let's play uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, season two, they were like, stories. Okay, let's tell some stories. Hell yeah. There's the guy over there talking about Mono Green and how uh, Mono Green was last set, but it did. You got the, the new frame, hell yeah. That's fun. What's it look like? Interesting. I feel like I like the extra of Thalia just getting yeah. better. Yeah, yeah. So you guys go ahead and. No one's on. That's oh. right. Matt, you said we're good. Yeah. No one, no one heard you over here. We got a hope. We're good to go. Uh, Sigardian Paladin. Yeah. Forgot there were multicolored cards here. Oh, there's also artifacts too. Ash of Hera. Ill-tempered Lunar. Oh, that one's creature. That, yeah. The CMC two or less. Yeah. So Ill-tempered Lunar. Four. Just all of them. Does it image to any target? Okay. Ooh, a foil Valorous stance. Nice. I don't know what like any of these cards do, so this is gonna be atrocious. Uh, a braid is back. Oh yeah, I did hear a braid was back. It is pretty good. I mean, that so it's hero's right downfill, and it's a it's a. Common, right? Yeah. So Braid's a common, and Hero's okay. Downfall is an uncommon. Yep. This card is, card is stupid. There's Bevy with X counters on it. Spread the damage and remove that many counters when one or more counters removed from an opponent with just that much. <laughs> okay. That seems alright. Yeah. Send it Pack Leader. Markov future. What color is that? That's multicolored. <laughs> Like, what is this beige color? Cemetery Gatekeeper. So it's a mythic. When it enters the battlefield, exile cards for graveyard. Whenever a player plays a land or casts a spell, if it shares a card type with the exile card, Cemetery Gatekeeper does two damage to that player. Just remember that it's symmetric. Yeah, that that doesn't seem like it could be a uh... exile vampire. Everybody, everybody taking lots of damage, right? But no creature. Oh, yeah, exile yeah. creature, and and a creature is going to. Doesn't even have to exile a vampire. Oh, it's a card type. Oh, oh yes. nice. Alright. Some card type. Easy for me to say. Overcharged Amalgam. 3-3 three, three Flash Fly and Exploit. When exploits car target spell, activate ability, or trigger ability. Okay. So, so you can exploit in response to... Your lose the game trigger. Yeah. Hmm. That, that's mm. not. Doesn't seem horrible. <laughs> Doesn't seem horrible. Yeah. 
Demonic bargain. Yes. It is good. But it's not so good. <laughs> I feel like that is not getting played. What's that? Demonic bargain. Oh, why not? Yes. It's not like you only have a 40 card deck. Right. All right. Very <laughs> few. Okay. Oh, look it. I got another hopeful initiative. Ooh, what is that? Aerith Tormented Prophet. If you draw a card, exile the top two cards your library said, you may play those cards this turn. By the way, you don't know all with that card. Really? Because you never actually draw, draw a card. card. <laughs> um, in, in the 14 games I've played so far, I've milled out a person twice already. Oh, yeah? So, it is a thing. So what colors have training in them? <laughs> White green. So we have two hopeful initiates. Interesting. Yeah. Well, Blade, guys. There. Going through my least likely to most likely to play. I don't even know. Two three for three was likely to get disturbed. They come back as an enchantment. Blue is the next least likely. There's another there's another training card. This is the three mana two one with flying. Do you exile the card that lets you take an extra turn? Yes, I do believe so. We're gonna find out. Ah, you do. Okay. Yeah, I thought you did. I only ask because there's like this one that we exploit a creature, return target instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your graveyard. Yeah. Whenever you attack with one or more creatures, target player mills that many. Six mana, four four. Yes. I mean, they got a lot of spirits. Cinco pay. Three bulls. The best card ever. What is this? Two hundred turn turn creature becomes a blue serpent with base power toughness five five. Okay. Hello. Yes, he has got this. But it's cool. Let's drop back three. You can exploit if three Falcon Wrath celebrants. Like a, yeah. I don't know if it's good or not. Wait, here? That was an uncommon in this set? Yep. They're not super awesome. Yeah, low. Huh. Yeah, it's a game like Creative Blood. Cool. Stack the blood tokens, transform it. <laughs> Becomes a 3 3. Yeah, he made a couple. I mean, that doesn't seem hard if you've got a way to gain life, right? I'll trade you. Dead Butler. I don't think it's right. Really I don't think I want to play. Yeah, just all right. That's it, folks. Oh. Hmm. No, he has to. He has to gain like this turn and turn the ability to the other. Some socialites. Yeah. Yeah. 
Got a blood fountain. So it's reminiscent. Okay. It's not bad. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't give you. That's that's a little more. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. I did not get much for remove. It's all on my like, bodies. Alright, well, let's see. We can make some. Oh, that's for sure. So. Likely not playing that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play black. We'll see what that looks like. Spirit running from losses to the first one. Interesting. Three mana deal five, huh? That seems pretty good. It is good. That seems pretty good. Alright, that's not getting played. No demonic card. Sorry. Well, why not? <laughs> Seems an all right first four cards to start with here, though. From key control is done. Red actually might be because it's the mag upgrade to magma spray. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty good. I mean, I could play Alchemist Gambit. This looks like a fake card. Like the the kerning with the yeah the spacing of the words and stuff. Just look real. The celebrants are pretty good. Right here. Maybe you sack a blood token, maybe have this become a 3 3 vampire artifact with haste. That it doesn't seem too good. Doom Dissenters, maybe? Yeah. Hmm. I might actually be playing blue red. It's a lot of pump in this. Whoa, what is this? A 1 1 with training when it enters the battlefield, create a 3 1? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, I guess it's 4 mana, but. Not much for the rest of it, but oh, and I do have an evolving world. Oh, I might actually splash for those two football initiates. Three, four. Let's, let's take a look. Creatures attacking you get minus one with zero. At the beginning of each end step, if you were dealt four or more damage this turn, exile board. Doesn't seem very good. Three, six. 10, Did you actually 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. You have to just play the... Gotta play the Cemetery Gatekeeper. Gotta get that damage in. I think this is what mine's gonna look like. Got three really good red cards, and that's it. <laughs> Traps off very fast.
how many actual vampires it has, that's probably not very good. I feel like five pieces of removal is okay. I don't think I need a sixth, which was a, a sixth drop. I think I would play this. Yeah. I think that's probably fine to play, wouldn't you? The, the blue, red lady. Dude. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I played blue, red in my first seal. Gotcha. Or my seal that I did. That you did. Online, yeah. It's like six mana four four. I don't know. I don't know how many uh champions I'm gonna end up having here. Yeah, yeah. Blue red? Probably not many of them. Yeah. You get to play syncopate though, right? Yep. I did with mine. Yeah, syncopate's in common now. Yeah. And like Alchemist Retrieval. Turn track that line for me. So it's like. Mm -hmm. No, I I played that as well. It was, it was good. It's, it's just two mana. I mean, you save yourself for one. Save your own for one. Or like cleave it and find something for temple for two. I got a couple of the things that like deal damage when you cast answers or something like that. With blue red, if you have werewolves. Finding instants are a big deal. Yeah, that's because what it looks you, like. you don't want to be. There is. There's a couple werewolves that way overperformed. Both in. So this my is my game. It's like these things. Which one's that? So this is the three one that gives, whenever it attacks, a oh. creature gets minus two minus zero, and then the backside it's minus two minus zero as an enchantment. Yeah, those are the remainders. Yeah. yeah, so I don't like... So I don't know. I'm going to have to make cuts, obviously. But I don't have any more throngs. Yeah. Which really without, kind of stinks. Like, without multiples or the throngs. Yeah, it's not, bad. Yeah, a two-minute, two-one. Which I guess is not bad, but like... This, is a, two minute, this is a two-minute, two-one. It's for strength. Yeah. yeah. You tap. Like, this is like one, though, that's like... Yeah. Says two mana return target wolf or werewolf creature targets on his hand or draw a card. And like, I feel like this is good because there's going to be enough wolves and werewolves to bounce where you cleave it for four and it doesn't matter. To draw I would say that it's not great. I will say it's not great at four mana draw card. Right. So and that's, my, my thought though is that two mana draw a card. Yeah. And is there enough wolves and werewolves to actually make it? I mean, play we play best of three. So, this is true. This is true. And Cradle of Safety. X proof, though. And plus one plus one. Come on now. It's only X proof until I turn, I believe. Is that true? Yeah, but, but it's fine. <laughs> it has flash. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. So the problem is, like, nothing really stood out to me, but we got some blood tokens, and I can splash. Yeah, you get an evolving round. Right? And I have the like, Boros see. land. Oh, great. So we can so look, look at your white. Yeah. Good idea. Problem is, this is like. There's some disturbed cards that, like, I guess are okay. There's a Valorous stance. There's, like, three training cards. I kind of like the initiate. Because, like, I have everything in here. Oh. And I have, like, I have two. I can't find it. Hard to splash on a one drop. Yeah, but I'm not looking at. I guess I'm not, I'm not looking at it early necessarily. Yeah, but then you're only gonna attack with it what once and get blocked. 
Makes it a two. Well, sure, later in the game, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Make it a two, three. It's sealed. Boards are going to get stalled up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, the only other thing that's, like, sanctify. Like, yeah, that I will. Think about it. It's like this. See, so look at it. It's like one with double strike, right? With the server. You flip it over, and it's like, oh, you're good. Just strike. It's not. And, like, I got the, the lifelink one. This doesn't seem like it'd be horrible. But I don't know if I'd splash white just for that. Valor stances removal would be good. I got two sanctifies. So I guess I could always board into. Oh, what is this? What do I have here? No, not anything I could actually use. Nothing in black really stood out that was like crazy, other than like to can find a way to make actual blood types. Mm -hmm. But like you'd have to be so hard in black, I think. And I guess I have a couple, but yeah. yeah, like you have things that are solid, but not yeah. And like I'm at twenty six here. What's your other? The green, white, and black, white. Oh, yeah. Just like that's the rest of blue. It's the rest of blue. I'm actually at a very, like, hard part with, like, this actually plays pretty spot well. with this one. You got a pen. Does it? Yeah. Well, then that's what, so that's what I was getting yeah. at. Like, I guess a three, it's three, not even just a 3 3, three defense. Okay. Yeah. Just. And that's right. I guess I was just, like, only looking at it as, like, yeah, you, you can't get aggro right? with it. Yeah. Right? Oh. There, so like it trades up into three and four drops. So like, deals one damage, and I'm looking at this as like it creates a blood token, right? So it, you'll be fine later in the game, to, to to loot away some extra. Wait, it's not great, but I like creating that extra, that extra mm -hmm. little bit to later. Uh. The so bad with spray. Yeah, so, yeah, those are those are yeah. amazing. This is question. Yeah. So, so we got this. Uh, yep. Fear of death is seems yep. like a pretty good lockdown. Ambush seems all right with like yeah. being able to like. It, it, work some it's stuff. okay. I've yeah. gotten blown out by it once, and I've yeah. seen them go to try and do something with it, and it just gets removed, and then you shoot yeah, sure. for one. Yeah. And you're like, oh. So the retrieval. We're talking about yep. a braid. Yep. yep, those are all solid. Um, Statuette, which so like is okay as I'm looking at it is like there's a battlefield makes a blood token. You can make it like you do something away. You can make a three three yeah. kind of get frisky we'll with have it. to see too. how many blood tokens you can make. Yep. Because sometimes Yeah, that's be so far harder. It, I think it's three or four total, but I'm not hundred percent sure. This looked okay as it flips into a four three for two. Just two damage to you, you can play the card. If you do, like <laughs> yeah, it, it transforms all right. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, just yep. one damage to each opponent, that, seemed all right. That plays worse than you would hope, but really? it is a two drop. Yes. Uh, we got Gatekeeper, so dealing a bunch of extra damage. Um, and then Celebrant, so when it dies, make blood token. It's two one with first strike when it's attacking. Yeah. And then uh, I wasn't so sure on this one, uh, but we got yep, this that one. Good. Daybreak combatants seemed all right. Yep, I, like, it plays plays well. I just think it's it like it's haste. Running flame. We were talking about that. Yep, plays well. Alchemist gambit. Which I sure, think. it's fun. Yep. Well, and like late game, you're fine, right? This one I wasn't 100 percent sure. Uh, I don't think I have very few zombies, but three mana tap a creature. It doesn't untap. So, like, it doesn't untap, right? So you double tap a creature and you draw a card. So the worst case scenario. Kind of buy yourself a turn. Yeah. Um, the egg was kind of like the. Eh, I don't know how many exploits I actually have. I think it's yeah, only like probably, three. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Um, so buyback and a center sorcery. Yeah, yeah. Which it's, actually seemed great. It actually is really good. The amalgam, yep. especially with flash. This one seemed pretty good. Yep. I'm not 100 percent sure. Backside seemed way better. Um, um, this thing can just take over a game. Yeah, I, I I can believe that. Um. So this one, since so it's a four mana, 
Mm-hmm. And then it's just six six on the backside. It's a defender. If it's two it six is. with defender. Like it seemed like it would be okay. It and, plays well. And then uh especially if you have enough. Whenever you cast a non a non creature spell. Yeah. And it's day bound. So it's a four four on the backside and yeah. the number of times damage. I was playing against that card. And that was the only card on the battlefield. It was a two six. And I went through two of braids. Like I had one card in hand, yeah. I had no creatures because I had chump locked it. And they flipped it back to a two six, and I just had to abrade it on my turn just to make it not flip so I didn't die. Yeah. It was just like yeah, braid I, it. Okay. Yeah, being the back side, two six. seems like, really good. Like get draw my next card. Oh, and abrade. All right, I'll abrade it. It's obviously not dead, but I just have to keep it. Five off five mana flip. four damage seems a little wonky, but I don't have too much removal. And then celebrants. And of course, like yeah. So this one actually, this probably gets cut. Six mana four four with flying, and I'm not really into the whole mill thing. Uh, I got, I've got to make cuts. All right, so so we put. I would take that that on the chopping block to be used. I think those are the ones that I, I think have underperformed so far that I've seen. So where are we at? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. For that bear. Yeah. It's vampires. With an evolving wild. I don't think you can run, you can't run 16 lands though. So I have to make one more cut, I think. Or run 41 cards. I run 41 cards. Yeah, and I normally, I normally run 41 cards. Um, so I think that's probably as much going to as be. You, if you it. if you have a lot of blood tokens, mm-hmm. which you don't seem to have a ton, mm-hmm. if you do happen to have a bunch of them in this format, I think it might even be right to play 41, 42 cards. Yeah. Because you churn through your deck so fast because of all of the... Yeah. We'll see. And it's like, so take this out and there's one... It's so like... One of these, I think, is two. This one makes blood tokens if you get excess damage, it's three. Celebrants, it's two. So, like, you might have five. Yeah. Of, of the statuette makes the one. So, so I think it's where we're going to do some math, figure out some uh, lands, and uh, be back to watch us play.